Welcome everybody, this episode we are going to talk about routing inside of React. So we want different URL paths to go to different pages in our application. So for this we're going to use a tool React Router DOM which we're going to install. Which by the way, if you want to follow along exactly with the code we have here, we're on the commit introduce pages and children props. And you can find the URL right here. With that, we're going to say npm install React Router DOM. And this is going to have three things that we want to import into our application. So it's going to look like this. Import from React Router DOM. And the three things we need are browser, router, routes, and route. So let's go ahead and space after the header here. And this is where we're going to say browser router. And this is going to surround all of our routes. So we'll take this and actually, we're just going to get rid of the employees page for right now. We'll put that back in here soon. So it's going to look like this. Now inside of here, we have another definition, which is routes. And then finally, inside of routes, we can define a single route. And it's going to have two attributes, path, and then the next one is going to be element and this will be self-closing. So this is the structure when you want to create a URL path. The path in here, we're just going to put a forward slash right now and the element that we want to render, this is where we're going to put that component. So actually, instead of the single quotes, I'm going to use curly braces and inside of here, I'm going to render our employees page. So it'll look like this and save. Let's see if we have any problems at all on our site. At this point, we should be able to visit localhost 3000 and get our employees page. We can change the path if we want. So for example, if we said forward slash employees, now the homepage is blank, which you could set up a homepage as well, and you would need to visit employees. And there you go, our page is rendered. So now it's pretty much as simple as taking the different URLs you want and making those the destinations for these different links in your nav bar and setting up a page inside of React for each one of those pages that you want to link to. Just as an example, and we're not going to build upon this very far, we're just going to show how this might work to visit a separate page. We could say something like customers.js, JK, not really, JS, and then we'll just say export default function customers return h1 hello there all right so we have our customers component or you can think of it as a page pretty much the same thing and we're going to import customers from dot slash pages customers and then we will create a new route inside of our routes and this one is going to be forward slash customers and the element we're going to render is customers. Now on our website we can visit forward slash customers to get that new page. And it looks awful but you can see the text there. So the next logical step is to work on the header and update those links so you can go into header.js, find the anchor tags, and update the href which looks like it's coming from the array of navigation points up here. So you can change these URLs to point where you want to go. We can make the first one to be slash employees and the next one to be slash customers. And we'll update the text as well. So employees and customers. Now we should be able to navigate between the two. Here are the customers and here are the employees. And it's pretty much as simple as that. But there is a couple of pointers I want to give in the next video when it comes to navigation, because right now we're just using plain anchor tags. I want to use a different type of tag that's going to be a bit better, which will also give us a good strategy for creating the active link. So this background will switch over to this URL when we click it. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next video. So quick review, we created a header which surrounds all of our content. Right now it's just a header, but you could just the same go into the header file and after props.children put a footer right here. So this is going to show up after the content. Let's go back to the employees. It's a little easier to see. Scrolling down and there is our footer, which you know might need some styling of course, but that surrounds all of our stuff. 
Then we also surround all of our stuff with this browser router, which has two individual routes inside of the single routes tag, each pointing to a different component, which we've mentally defined as pages, but really there's nothing differentiating a normal component from a page component. They're both defined exactly the same way. It just so happens that it logically makes sense to have one defined for different URL paths. Stay tuned for the next episode where we continue our discussion on improving our navigation. See you then.